Good evening and welcome back to the Student Starcraft AI Tournament Broadcast thingy. I still haven't got a really good name for it. Uh, but what we've got today is something rather special because uh, Michael Sertiki emailed me yesterday. Could I please record a couple of matches of a high school tournament he has been starting up in um, for the Czech Republic and Slovakia, as it happens? And um, we've got the first best of five from that. Um, before I enter into any more of uh, what it is and why it is, uh, let me introduce the players. We've got the Teal Protoss, and it is uh, from a high school. I wasn't given the name of it, which is a bit tricky, but um, I'll call him uh, Team Czech. And these are two gentlemen called Nathan and David, which have um, produced their first bot, which is good enough to play in a best of five. That is very impressive. And Nathan and Dave, well, the name shows up as well. And it's playing Proto, so um, let's see what it's going to do next. And at the other end, we've got a Terran bot, which is uh, changing colors. That is. I shouldn't do that. I should do it like this. We've got a Terran bot, the white Terran, and that is um, a team from Slovakia, and I only know one of the names of the. Uh, the team members, and he's called M uh, Martin, and Martin. And I'm not even, oh sorry, I'm being a bit racist, but I'm not even going to, to try and pronounce that last name without written instructions. Uh, because Michael Sertiki, he is the boss of the Student Starcraft AI tournament. He um, He's always scolding me about how I'm, how I'm pronouncing his name, and I'm not going to venture uh, to pronounce this one. Perhaps if I, I'll get it in writing someday on an overlay and you can uh, ask your Czech and Slovak friends how it's supposed to be pronounced, but um, Team Prague, Team Czech Republic is scouting with a probe and is now seeing one barracks and is, ooh, well it's being attacked by this SCV but not really, not yet, and another barracks, so we've got two depot, two barracks build and at the Protoss end of things this SCV is going the wrong way We've got uh, what looks to be a two gate, so let's see how this is going to pan out. As you might know, Michael Sertiki, and uh, pardon me for butchering your name, but Michael Sertiki, the boss of the tournament, is a PhD at the Czech Technical University in Prague, and he is, uh, well, apparently he found time in his busy schedule not only to host uh, the real student StarCraft AI tournament, for students and basically anyone, other interested ex-students and teens and things like that. Uh, but he's now also started a high school competition. He's, he told me he had been tutoring a couple of high school students in the noble arts of brute war AI and that is absolutely fantastic because it demonstrates that it's not all that uh, difficult. Um, but of course these guys must be very, very clever. Um, that said, the Terran team uh, from uh, Slovakia is, oh here it stands in the screen, it's uh, Martin VLCAK and I'm, I'm not going to try it. Uh, let's call him Martin, shall we? So we've got Martin versus Nathan and David and the Protoss is sitting back producing not all that many units because it is most supply blocked now building three pylons and killing the first SCV. So the first blood is going to the Czech Republic. Now at the other end we have got, oh that's pretty impressive, we've got gas being mined and we've got an academy coming up and this is going to be another depot. So supply wise Terra now at 30 almost. Nice bit of marines going on and army wise I should say the Terran is in a little bit of an advantage but and now the pylons are completing, we've got more uh, more zealots coming up. And that's another gateway, no gas being mined, I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just going to be, oh, it's going to be a four gate, that's interesting. And as we all know, you can build a hell of a lot of zealots of four gates. And there they appear to be moving out, and with a scouting probe or a mental support probe, a psychological support probe as well, so let's see how that is going to pan out. We've got uh, one fire bat and now an eBay coming. A lot of gas mined. I don't know if that is, uh, but the SCV production is considerable. I'd say about 15, 16 SCVs. 
and the probes with the saturation seems okay at say 15 workers each. Of course I don't know how um, or precisely what Michael's involvement was. Okay and here battle will be joined. We've got a... Uh, no you are not going... Hello we are four zealots and we are coming to attack you and I am a medic about to heal this running away SUV and now only going back to heal these marines. But as you can see, these zealots are very cost-effective, pure marine and my uh, medic micro isn't up to scratch. Now with only one, and um, yeah, let's not help our friend <laughs> there. I don't know what this is about, and now it's going into the rest of the company, so that is... Well, I'd say it's about an even exchange. We've got 36 supply for Terran, 35 and 37 for Protoss. Meanwhile, gas being mined, that's very good, and weapons upgrade one, and basically a lot of zealots. So, a zealot versus uh, marines and medics and firebats, and I think if this is not going to improve uh, micro-wise, that is going to be a battle between um, the proto zealous production and uh, the Slovak Terran medic and marine micro, because uh, as we saw earlier, the micro isn't really up to scratch yet, and I don't... I can't... I, I'll, I'll have to ask Michael or these gentlemen themselves how they have um, and an expansion. Hello, that's very nice. And uh, this is going to be a one base, four gate play. Supply wise, oh, that is a bit of a misguided attack because one SCV. Oh, and look at how it dodges the, uh, the zealots, that's very impressive. And now it's trying to find a way out, and that is a way up to a cloud. Goodbye. Okay, here comes the Terran army, and it's got a a bit of army production at the back of this, and now the medics are far in the rear. And that was that was stiff. That was, I think stiff. Did I see that wrong? I think I think I did. Now the Terran army is pushing through and with the yeah, plus one weapons coming up. I can't really see this going any other way but in the Terran's favor because all these medics now seem to have pulled up to troops. Oh and look, oh, I did fire bats apparently the five metric measurement thingies of worth of damage. And now there is only one marine left so the, the Protoss will live another day. And that is good news for our Czech team, consisting of <laughs> Nathan and David, and uh, the Protoss team with Martin and uh, his compatriots, which are not named unfortunately, is uh, retreating. So I think this is um, a bot with a, a combat simulator which says, well, we can't really win this time. And I think they, since they've all got 10 damage, uh, they've got Stim. And now the Zealots are in for some action. <laughs> only two barracks, that is a bit of a pity. Uh, starport coming up, but in the meanwhile we've got a handful of zealots attacking a cluster of marines. Look at these stim marines and this fire bat is being protected so well. And now with a medic and the fire bats, that is going in Terran's favor. And as you can see, Terran now has another expansion up and it's, it's still producing SCVs. What is it doing with all the SCVs? It's, it's crazy. It's got two barracks and now a starport. Nothing doing from uh, from the hello factory. Yes, very good. And the upgrades we've got plus one weapons nearly researched, and we've got an expansion for Protoss as well. So that's very interesting because there aren't any probes, and the saturation here is okay, but not superb. Plus one weapons for Protoss done as well, and still going for a large marine push. What? Oh, that is. Um, well, this will be interesting because that's a lot of zealots and only two medics. And I think that of two barracks, you are going to have a bit of a party to, to try and. Um, no, this is not going anywhere because you're only producing off two, two barracks. And now the zealots are in the medic line. And after the medics are gone, it's up to the SCVs to fend these things off. And that's not going to go well. And even up to. Firebass at the same time apparently cannot beat one zealot. That's very impressive. It hurt a lot, but two kills, and now we've got three, four barracks. But now we we are kind of lacking the eco, and now with the science vessel. So that's a bit of a, um, a mismatch in priorities, and more zealots are coming now. So that is uh, that's okay. Thirteen SCVs have dropped already, 
And yep, you can stim, but three marines versus all these zealots and no medic support, that is not going to work. Perhaps this science vessel is going to uh, to oversee uh, something. But in the meanwhile, it's this command center which is going to be cut up. And look at this fat stream of zealots is going to demolish the Terran base, I fear. Because uh, although the Protoss didn't transfer any SCVs, I do think that in the end, um, <laughs> all these zealots... Hello! I've got a tech in this match. If you had Irradiate, which you haven't, or if there were a couple of Wraiths, you could have done something. But uh, now you're only um, a moving stuff out of four barracks into this three, four, fifteen-ish zealots, and another group is brewing at home. Supply-wise, 65 for Protoss, and uh, the Slovakian Terran team is now at 31 supply. Allow me to speed it up just a little bit because it's um, it's a best of five. And I don't think that Terran is going to uh, pull this off. Where are the SUVs going? Okay, we've got another expansion coming, and perhaps they thought, well, it might be safer here. In the meanwhile, these barracks are under attack. They won't do anything anymore. And with more zealots coming, more supply being added, more SUVs being killed, and now the... <laughs> oh, that's very cute. That's uh, well. That's quite a nice, decent little war off with two cannons for a starting player, because anything should be able to pass through the underneath here, and two cannons on the high ground can stop quite a bit. And this science vessel's gathering energy. It hasn't got any spells. It hasn't got any um, function really. And the Terran base is now washed with zealots, and the zealots are going to kill everything by turn and I think that this is the first game for the Czech Republic Nathan and David take the first game of course um, this being best of five you've got a couple of more games ahead of you so um, yep high school game number two and again we've got the uh, <laughs> we've got the Czech Protoss Nathan and David as the red the top right corner bottom left brown We've got Team Slovakia, and uh, one of the guys involved is Martin, with the unpronounceable surname. Okay, so last game we saw the Terran doing a very nice, uh, albeit limited in production, two base academy build with Marines and Medics. Good push, but eventually got beaten back, and the Protoss did a very um, sturdy, basically one base. Um, there weren't any probes at the expansion mining, so one base zealot attack, which later evolved into something with can with cannons, and I can only hope that this game will last a little bit longer, or that the Terran will be able to hold its ground a little bit, so we can see what these um, <laughs> what these uh, Czech gentlemen have uh, come up with in the middle and late game. That said, I don't know which bot has been used as a basis, or if any bot has been used as a basis. Because if you use something like the University of Alberta bot, which has got very good documentation and a very um, very well developed functionality, which you can personalize, um, if only by uh, editing text files. But if you uh, climb into the coding uh, side of things, you can customize so much more. It's a really powerful thing. So if you use um, University of Alberta or Oprimo bot from uh, Johan Hagelback, that would be um, still be impressive because you still got to um, make your own build orders and um, attack script and logic but the basis is still there but I I should ask Michael what he's uh, what he's going uh, on about um, the, um, no uh, we'll keep that for another time. Meanwhile, in the Terran base, we've got a lot of Marines, and that is good. But I think I should like to see a switch sooner to uh, more barracks and less tech afterwards, because Protoss is going to lay on the pressure. Well, that's a nice row of pylons, I should say. With the four gates versus two barracks, it's not going to be a, a fair race for very long. And now we've got. Got, got four zealots again, 
but if you look at the high ground now being occupied by so many uh, marines and medics and fire bats, I can't really see these uh, zealots doing anything. One dies, two dies, and I don't think they killed a single marine, and that's not... Well, that's okay. Expansion coming from Protoss in the right place this time, so perhaps it will even transfer some probes and get something done, plus one weapons being upgraded, and uh, that's a bit of a Congo line of... Um, how do you say that? It's, um, it's a long snake of infantry with medics at the back, and of course you should keep your support units at the back, but you would like to uh, gather up somewhere around here, then stim in and attack. Now the zealots are going to kill many more because we've got eight. And um, basically the entire infantry is going to be cut up before the medics arrive, and that's not good. Now with the, no, with that stim and the medics now at the plate, and now we've got oh that is very good. We've now got five marines left, and no, we've got four marines left. The probes are coming off the line, or are they coming? Maybe they come to micro. Now with three medics and four marines, I think you need to keep them together because you've now only got two marines left. Expansion being built, but with a bit of damage being done, and I think eventually this, um, these two marines are going to get cleaned up by the zealots because they will move out if there are eight or ten or something. And I don't think they can take down this next. I think with six zealots you, you could take that down. Meanwhile, in the Terran base, we've got plus one weapons coming. We've now got three barracks, so that's a, a little bit better build. It's less um, tech heavy, and now the zealots move out, clean up the infantry, and clean up the medics as well. And as you can see, the um, the Photon Cannon is a bit earlier, so perhaps this Protoss bot now um, has seen well, we are under attack, we need more defense, and. What the hell, let's attack. And the Terran thinking the same thing, but this time without Marines. And now, again, we've got three barracks, and the lo oh god, I can't bear to watch, because although a fair number of Zealots, I think, will the Terran win this? No, can't possibly. It's some kind of a draw. We've got a, a 10 HP Marine and an 18 HP Firebat. And of course, although the rally point is not really all that great, the next wave should move up, move out soon. So um, I can't. No, don't do. Oh, that is a very brave marine, and I. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, it can't. It couldn't possibly. Another cannon. So perhaps this is some kind of adaptive defense. Now Terran has had a lot of. Uh, extra time to uh, prep some defenses. Now with three barracks instead of two, and with more SCVs, a greater economy behind this. Now with a, a nice clump of bio parked here and waiting. That's one, two, three, four. Now we've got ten, and pro transfer roughly here. Another cannon. So yeah, I think that is some kind of adaptive. Oh no, you should. Oh god, here we go again. And now it's ten zealots, and I can't really. I, yeah, with stim and with fire bats, but if you, I think the medics just arrived just in time, so that is very well done. And it would be nice to have another fire bat in the fray, but these guys are doing so much damage and now moving out with the stim, with the speed, that's very good. And although we now have got three cannons, we've still got four, four gateways, a hell of a lot of gas in the bank. And now we've got four barracks up, fifth soon to be added, and plus one weapons is done, plus one armor coming up, and now again with the uh, with the factory. And although this uh, this small marine push will be will be dealt with, uh, as you can see, the, the Protoss is um, not really. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I dare say this is adaptive. This is very good. A lot of cannons, because even if this base is falling, you uh, are going to have to break a, a one base zealot Terran with a, a lot of cannons on the high ground. That's going to be a hard thing to do. But now with five, five barracks seem to be six, and SCV production has stalled. 
plus one armor coming up. And I can't really see this eight marines, and they are moving in perfect unison as soon as the, the entire army is moving out. So the Terran army um, micro is better than I thought at first. It would be nice to have one of these, um, these fire bats buffer some damage, but I think in the end, although we have got six uh, cannons on the high ground and Plus one, plus one. I don't think it should be saving for the. It should be tacking into something else because uh, although now they are moving out and the Terran is coming in quite. Oh, that's a third base. That's a third base, and we've now got six barracks versus four gates. And with the stim, and with the fire bats buffering some damage, and with the medics finally arriving, I don't know that this one. This wave will be cleaned up. So, um, I dare say that the Czech team is still holding the Czech Protoss, Nathan and David are still holding, but the Terran are coming in and there goes, okay, that's going to be a lot of, I, I don't know if this is going to be broken at all by, um, by infantry. That's going to be a hard thing to break, but perhaps with the uh, science facility it can upgrade 3-3, three, 3-3 three, 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 stim, oh god here we go, with the stim, um, they are so fragile, they haven't got medics, and oh well they, they, they do tear down one cannon, and these are out of range, so the nexus will, oh the nexus will live with 71 HP, and again the zealots save the day, but in the end this is mining out, and although we've got more cannons coming up and more zealots, we now have more barracks coming. This is crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And no science vessel yet. That's a positive thing because last time it didn't really do much. And the medic is. The medics are patrolling the high ground and some, some scouting activity, so that's very good. Now moving out, so, oh, I missed that, I missed the attacking wave, and now the medics are there, and the zealots are not, oh, the zealots, they will hold again, I fear they will hold again, that is very good, cannon being rebuilt, and the zealots are holding it off once more, but the next wave is underway, and now with a three base economy, and if I'm not mistaken, da -da -da -da. It is going to be a four base economy soon, unless the main mine's out first, but I don't think it will. Again, we've got a science vessel, and we've got more barracks coming up, and more weapons upgrades coming. So now the Terran army is just going to push, going to push, and the cannons aren't ready. And now the Zealots are defending in conjunction with the cannons, so that's very good. Cannons on the high ground, very powerful against Bio, and Bio is very, very weak. So... Oh, that is nice, and that should be... That should be enough with the Zealot if these two are no Stim and Stim. That is so very powerful. And if that Nexus dies, and the Nexus does die, that is going to be a hard lot for Protoss. And I don't know if it's going to be rebuilding, but <laughs> now we've got a science vessel overseeing that. It's only for, for scouting, actually, and another eBay, and this is going to be... Well, look at that! That is something very clever. I have not, uh, I have not seen n not seen any Terran bot do this. But as you see, all these Marines are uh, produced at the exact same time. So they pop out and they, oh, there they go. Oh, that's crazy! One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you you spawn a couple of medics in there, you've got a wave that can very well handle a lot of um, damage. And they. Again. Oh, that is a matrix! We've got a matrix, Mario, and now it dies. And again, the zealots are holding, and now with more cannons. And I, I dare say this is going to be hard to break for infantry, because although this is going to mine out relatively soon, and um, well, we've got a shield coming up, but that's not going to be. Uh, where was that? That was here. And <laughs> we, we're going to see more uh, matrix. <laughs> That's crazy, we've got Matrix Marines and a lot of barracks. And by now there are so many barracks they can't all produce the one, so that should be a uh, check on that. But now with the uh, with the cannon placement that's going to be pretty interesting. Next is being rebuilt. 
but with this base mining and this base being taken and is this no that's not being taken yet uh, but the Terran economy is going to explode and as soon as all these barracks are finished and they I dare say they one two three five six only six are producing at the time mineral destroyed ah so it's posting a message that a uh, mineral has been depleted <laughs> and I was wondering well has he finally found a way to um, to destroy one of these mineral patches but uh, by mining out I should say you can do that and although these cannons are being terribly cost-effective versus these now 2-1 marines in the long run another mineral destroyed oh dear oh dear oh dear uh, in the long run this is not going to stand up because the Terran economy is so great and look at that <laughs> we've got uh, another mineral destroyed, two more science vessels and an SUV train moving out to here that's very interesting because although the, the micro isn't perfect and the, the, the marines and the, the medics aren't really lining up look at that, this is a butchery because these marines have been stimmed to death marching over here, look at this I did think I heard someone stim in while being in the main base, but now with one, two, three, four, all these barracks producing, and with the armor upgrades, and more science vessels which are not going to do anything, 125 supply, it's just going to be a long stream uh, over the top, down the line, another mineral destroyed, the main is going to be mined out soon, and well, these zealots are going to, to butcher these marines, but there are so many marines. There are just too many marines and another base being taken by, by our Slovak Terran friends. And I must say that I'm uh, positively surprised by um, by the Slovakian prowess because uh, this is a very decent plan and as you can see the Protoss uh, has a decent plan as well but it is it has kind of stalled. So it hasn't got a plan to move out of the, the two base cannons and, and zealots stage and of course the Terran well Terran of course can be more cost effective with marines and medics and look at all these medics just standing around here it's crazy and a cloud of vessels 1, 2, 3, 4 and 120 supply a lot of minerals in the bank and a lot of barracks on building but if you okay now they are not really uh, aligned because they're now building bats and marines that's going to pop, uh, a wave of bats is going to pop, let's watch it pop, there we go, five fire bats all at once and that is something uh, you can do with an AI, you can just have it start um, if needs be 200 marines at the same time, max need a bit of fiddling around with killing off workers for that but uh, you could do that so that 200 marines would spawn at the exact same uh, moment last bit of minerals in the main should build some cannons here because all these marines are just filing in one at a time and these zealots are are dying in, in huge numbers meanwhile no more no more vessels being produced and the main base is just joke full of uh, oh that is so nice to see I'd like that every time a new bot hit, hits the scene there is something I haven't seen before and I, I like I don't know if that's just my um, my predilection for brute war but um, and there it goes again and at the same time all these barracks start producing anew that is crazy I am going to speed it up just a little bit because although I am enjoying myself uh, we of course will have to wait and see if these um, cannons are going to be broken or not and one dies but meanwhile we've got no they are not being transferred uh, fire bats versus no they can't touch you can't touch this <laughs> but if you look at the bank of Terran it's crazy and um, one two three four these three barracks don't seem to be producing anything ever that's strange perhaps that uh, Martin and his uh, colleagues can look into that <laughs> but in the meanwhile we've got oh they're slowly pushing through and although there aren't any medics anymore, well, there are medics, but they're just standing around here, so the the army micro isn't as robust as it should be. Now the Terran army is moving up the hill, 
stimming and taking out cannons one at a time. Two left. Now the five vats are coming for this pylon. Coming for. Yeah, and there we go. So if you look at the Terran supply, we've got uh, 140. One f oh, that is very nice. That um, indulged me. It's now 195, 160. And. Look at the keep looking at the supply because it's going to it's going to jump. Because every time a wave of units is completed, it will lop enter five new um, units as well. And there we go. Um, yep, that's some nice scouting and killing off the last building. So very well done. And it is now two to one. And uh, if you can hear that in the background, that is my, my phone, so um, I'm not really going to, to get into that. Uh, of course, I'm working at the moment, and for the third game. For the third game, uh, we have got, again, as the Czech uh, Republic High School, we've got um, Nathan and David with the Protoss bot and the Terran bot, which uh, last game showed us very good micro and, uh, well not micro, macro I should say, in the end mining off seven bases and that's very impressive. So the third game coming up and of course that is, um, it's now 2-0 for the Terran with the, um, well, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit because it's going to be a long broadcast anyway and I'd like to um, save my voice a little bit. So uh, again we, we see the Zealot thing and the Terran is doing two barracks, SCVs being built, minerals being mined. Uh, two gate into a lot of pylons and I don't really think, well that could be refined a little bit. Oh and a forge. Um, well it would be nice to see if these um, Nope, it seems to be a fixed build order. But now we've, we've got five zealots, so perhaps it is learning between games. It would be surprising if it was um, learning that quickly already, but now we've got five. Last two games we saw four uh, zealots moving out at the first stage. Again with uh, two barracks and no, there come the medics. And I should say that these medics will be just, uh, this medic will be just in time, I do hope so. And the question is not if these zealots are going to win, they are not, but how much damage they can do, because uh, these zealots in the back are not really responding to the, the threat. And... Um, yep, Firebat coming to the rescue. This medic will be pretty empty by now, yep, there it is. And the marines are taking out the fire bats, so that is well, quite a bit of damage done by uh, by the Czech Protoss. And the Slovak Terran is uh, sitting back again. We've got um, well, that's looking good. Now uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, seven. And now they are waiting in the correct place. So that's another thing in which Terran has, uh, in my eyes, uh, already got a, a notch up on the Protoss because it's, it's moving its troops to protect its natural as well and it's got a stim, well that's in balance because Terran is so easy with medics and marines and stim, it's just not really and Protoss just keeping its units up um, up on the base, uh, main base plateau and uh, allowing its, its expansion to be um, threatened. That is a generous drone transfer and here we go. So the next is now under attack, and the zealots, well, they they do seem to be defending it. They are just moving out uh, based on um, based on a timer. So they have got eight, or ten, or however many they are required for a push at that time, and then they move out. Now with a cannon, and I uh, the cannon placement is, is quite good. It's not really easy to detect where the enemy is coming from and to. Uh, where to build the cannons, also without walling yourself in. Now we've got five zealots uh, with a bit of shield damage which will be recuperated by the time they hit the Terran base, but now the Terrans have got one, two, three, four... There we go. And with the stim and the medics, yep, that's going to be short work. 
one medic taking a lot of damage and that is a nice bit of well you could prioritize that a little bit better with your zealots but again uh, this seems to be a copy of the second game now the Terran has took the first waves it's just moving out and there they go that was a bit much but the Protoss attack wave has been uh, quenched and now they are going to attack the next ones more with the Stim, with the Medics and that's very good because you do so much damage with, with Stim Marines and now the Cannons and the Zealots will probably clean this up but will be doing quite a bit of damage and the Nexus is now gone so it's now a 1 vs 2 base and look at all these fire bats that is... I'd like to see this Terran play another another opponent, perhaps a Zerg, because I don't really know why it's building so many uh, many firebats. I know Vlitabot, uh, the Dutch Terran ghost who won last year's uh, Stupid Starcraft AI tournament, uh, tournament that he likes to build firebats to, to combat zealots because they do a lot of splash damage and have quite a bit of armor. Now, the next is being rebuilt, but uh, that's going to cost a bit of drones, and now the cannon is down, and I do think... Uh, no, Zealot. Oh, yep. That was a very close call for Protoss, but uh, with a couple of cannons and the Zealots, that's going to be able to set up a nice concave. Again, nice bit of... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's very good. That's very good. One, two, three. Wait for it. It's going to produce a nice wave of marines at the same time. Yep, there it goes. And sixth ones. Okay, that's very brilliant. Meanwhile, uh, golly, drones and zealots being killed. And now, with the cannons, Protoss can hold off once more. But it's just a one versus a three base, meanwhile. And that is not going to go well for a uh, for a bit and now these barracks seem to be producing all of them. Last game three of them weren't producing ever, that was strange. Again, uh, science vessels coming up and Terran is just going to push, push, push. And with the marines and the medics and the increasing upgrades, although there are a lot of cannons on the high ground and these medics uh, do seem bent on destroying themselves, uh, the next wave is coming up again and Terran going for its fourth base. Now with uh, vessel cover, so perhaps we're going to see another. Oh, that is so brilliant! Hey, they are not really synchronized anymore. That's a pity. That's a damn shame. Oh yeah, here we go again. I can't. I. I. Um, yo, there they go again. Oh, this is so pretty. Uh, two of them are not producing at the moment. That is a shame, but. It's such a pretty sight to see um, all these things flipping on at the same time. That's very well done by um, by Martin and his, his his team apparently. I don't know how big the team is. I wasn't given the name names of the high schools, but what you are watching now is not students. Although we are the students Starcraft AI tournament, um, we apparently also have got a high school students uh, division as of uh, now. And uh, Michael, the, the director of the tournament, he said, well, we're going to have more matches and more teams, so... What well, this man has um, time and energy for, I, it's incomprehensible. Meanwhile, Terran filing in Marines upon Marines, and I want to see this one more time. Ah, oh, it's, no, it's not good, because it's now producing all things at different times and this is going to be a wave of fire bats but it's not going to be in time because Terran is going to take the third map and okay third map done so that's a clean sweep for Terran I should say but I just am reading that uh, although we've got the fourth game is a game of its own as well we had Python, the Circuit Breaker, Roadrunner, and Python. So this should be another game. And pardon me for speeding through it a little bit because um, the thing with new bots is that they are... Although I must say that the Terran bot is impressing me very much, um, they're a bit one-trick ponies, so um, especially if one of the bots only does one thing and the other one does another thing but still only one thing. 
Um, it's going to be uh, the same match being played out all the time. And if you've not got uh, a difference in in maps or in uh, distance between bases for rushing or for cloak unit harass for drops, you could easily do some kind of drop thing here. It would be it would be nice, but I don't think uh, that these bots have got it in them yet. And uh, for new bots, they are very good. They are very good. I must say that even um, if you take, um, even if you're not paying attention to the level of these coders, because uh, we can't see that at the moment, we can't see what the the code is and how it's going to uh, influence what we see directly. And even if you disregard the fact that they are high school students and not university students, which uh, comprise the most of our, our population on the server and in the tournaments. Uh, for new bots, this is very good. For most new bots, we get um, OB mine or are mining and building zerglings and sending them to A move. And this is very, um, this is very good already. And I, mu I must say, I think that it's uh, it is because um, Michael is tutoring these kids because Michael is well, he hasn't got a bot of his own. Well, he has, but it's a bit of an old one. It hasn't been worked on since 2011, I think. Uh, but this man knows so much and has seen so much, so if you are being tutored by him, I can't imagine you being, uh, you turning out any way else than one of the, the better coders in, in the scene, so it's, uh, I, I'm going to follow this, well, it's my job, I, I'm going to love to follow this high school scene in, in the Czech Republic and Slovakia, with Michael tutoring these, um, these kids, because if this is, um, and also the protobot is doing a 4 gate thing that is very impressive already for a first iteration, for a first bot, it's very very good. And this Terran bot is really decently good, I think it can post win rates of 30% at our server right now, so uh, I hope it's going to be, um, well I think it is on there, let me, uh, let me check for a small... Let me have a gander because I have been on holiday and so I am not really acquainted with all the. Oh, that has a damn shame. Um, well, that was the replay, and of course, you can see that the Terran bot is the stronger of the two, so the Slovak team is, is better. And I think I am going to show you my desktop. And I'm going to show you my, my browser as well, because I'd like to show you our website for a small moment. And I hope that this streaming thing is going to be recorded correctly. And there we go. Of course, this is our website. And the students, um, sscaitournament.com, Student Stock for AI Tournament. And of course we are ready for 2016, which will not begin until December, I think, but uh, that is what it's all about. And let me open the, the score page where you can see um, where you can see which bots are on the server now. And my connection is kind of dead. I don't know what that is. Can I see it somewhere else? Well, I'll tell you it's on my... Um, from my laptop and as you can see yep the Terran bot has now a oh here we go here we go here we go and um, so this is uh, here will be the live stream and you can see which bots are going to play iron bot is an updated version of stone which is very good so this is these are the games coming up and where are no I blocked Twitter and I've got this no script thing which is very uh, very good, uh, but sometimes it doesn't really. Um, apparently, it's now blocking the Twitch stream. I don't know why, but normally here you've got the live stream and you can see a tutorial. Uh, you can sign up and you can download things. You can visit all kinds of ancient tournaments of this year and last year, and most of all, you can see a page with bots and results, and that is this one. I'm going to. Um, well, at the top with a 100% win rate over the last 20 games is a Killerbot by Marion Diveka, then Simon Prince, then Aya by Florian Richou. Hasn't been updated for years. That's very good. Ironbot, Odin, 
Chris Cox, uh, Triple ZK bar, uh, that's still very good. Andrew Smith disappeared since uh, 25 of the 5th, 2013, still very good. TSU Protoss. TSU Protoss was almost flown to uh, the MIT, uh, TSU, I should say, um, his, his author, uh, for competing in Battle Code. So, uh, congratulations on almost winning that. That is very impressive, um, especially considering the small amount of time uh, he has spent on it. And you can see it like that. Peregrine bot, new bot as well. Um, but a functionality you can see when it's updated. And if you um, sort them like this, Martin, uh, Martin Slovakia, with a for me unpronounceable surname. Um, is uh, with a win rate of 30%. Now I I I, I guess that correctly. And now the Protoss is with a win rate of 50%. That is somewhat crazy. And we've got someone called Jacob Knudsen. I haven't seen that. I'm going to make a, a cast of all the new bots. And Jumper bot, I haven't seen that either. A very dumb bot made from scratch. And Peregrine bot, another, oh god, another, another five pool. Marek Gaidos, I think. And a Protoss bot named Caesar. Henry Kumpelainen, I have seen that play, that is very good, and that is a little bit comparable to uh, our Mr. Um, well, to our Slovakian team, uh, but a, bit more, a little bit more refined, it can do more. And Sebastian, I haven't seen that either, that is crazy. And this is also uh, Pablo Garcia Sanchez, is, uh, well, it's from a Spanish team based on Opera Mobot and it does some kind of generative uh, genetic thing but it can't... Uh, well I've seen it build 10 Hydra Dens and no Hydras in one game so it's uh, it's got some, some finishing up to do. And another... Oh, that is crazy. I'm going to do new broadcast. But good news of today is um, that um, we've got two uh, high school students teams in our midst on one hand, a team uh, with Martin uh, from Slovakia and playing as Terran, and a Protoss team with Nathan and David called Haters Bot. So, uh, congratulations, thank you very much for participating, and I'll be keeping an eye on you because for a first bot, you are doing very, very good. So, that was uh, the short broadcast. Thank you for watching, and have a good night. Goodbye.